Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We're vlogging as we fundraise for ACS. And this is the start to our Sunday. We're just playing. Something that is an absolute miracle that I, I just never thought about before we had children living in Disney World was how nice it is on like a Saturday or Sunday morning to let the kids just play in their space, in their toys, mm -hmm. because they love their toys and they love yeah. their space. Right. And I was like, oh, yeah, we could be rope dropping studios or Epcot or something right now, but like, no, we did a lot of parks yesterday. Mm -hmm. We're tired. Toys. We're tired, <laughs> but like, they missed their toys. Yeah. So like, let them play with their toys. So I'm right. Sarah's having the vlog, I was doing dishes. Yeah. We're gonna get ourselves together here in a moment. Yeah, I'm sure you'll see a lot in these vlogs. Teddy loves his hippos. That's something that we haven't like captured. <laughs> Here he comes. Hi, Teddy. Um, he's always playing with his hippos. James, he's loving that castle, the Lego castle set still. <gasps> what are your hippos doing? Are they sleeping? Oh, you step on something. Stick Man. One of the most amazing and emotionally draining kids' cartoons ever. It is just after 12.30. We're finally rallying to go to Epcot. Um, the boys are all dressed. I'm ready. My eyes have been weird. I don't know, so I'm gonna be wearing glasses today. Um, just has to happen. Um, they are gonna meet up with Britt, Jared, and Shepard again, and actually Tiffany too. She's a friend of theirs and a friend of ours. Um, so yeah, that's who we'll be with today. We're gonna go there before Sunday dinner at the Sicarts. And I've just been trying to think of like, other home things to like do little updates on. Um, we did get a new couch downstairs and all of us can fit on it, which is great. Um, so I'll show that in a little bit. Um, Peter started a master's program. I'll let him talk about that. Jamesy has also started school two days a week. And I know like we don't want to update everything all at once, but I know something or someone. You haven't seen in a while. Oh, this little girl, Evie's barking at post lunch Mama. leftovers. Probably the fluffiest she's ever been. Mm. And yeah, sweet as could be. Sometimes you just gotta wait for the shot. How does it feel to be a Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon Epcot vlogger again? Awesome. <laughs> it really does. It's so nice out, but it's very windy. Yeah. But it's a good kind of wind, because the wind's kind of cool. You know, Florida's oh, got that hot really wind nice. sometimes. I, we've been very pampered so far with like weather this spring, and I'm just like not ready to let it go. It was like really, really hot the other day. And I was, like, but you've, you've gotten it's like, coming. you've gotten to enjoy not a crazy hot, spring or early hot spring it, during your pregnancy yeah that was truly such a blessing because it was a concern in florida <laughs> from august to now like the peak of my pregnancy was like really enjoyable i am a little bit worried about having a baby when it gets really really hot but that's what fans in acr for yeah we we know how to do it. love this little garden blossoms of fragrance so you can go around to the different stations and smell the different scents. Smell it. <laughs> James is singing. I don't know if you can hear him but he's saying imagination. There are still some construction walls over here and like Directly getting to Figment over here is closed, so we gotta do some backtracking, but it's worth it for Figment. From me to you. Go on, journey into imagination with Figment. Let's go. Wow. Okay. Not a five minute wait, but just a 10. We'll enjoy the queue while we wait, right? Where's Figment? Figment, where are you? Figment. <gasps> Where'd it go? Where'd it go? 
Institute Open House is now in progress. Please prepare all the reports. James is patiently waiting for the ride to start. And our tour of the Imagination Institute. Hello, on your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Imagination is around. Make up and upside down. You said it, Doc. Imagination is a blast. Imagination. Yeah, take a seat. We're gonna see some butterflies. How does it feel to have a baby that looked over and saw the imagination of William, started seeing the figment, and you wanted to go on it? I don't think there are words. No. You need a snack? Why don't you hop in a seat and get, we'll get a snack and go see some butterflies? They're so active. They're just chasing each other. There's so many. They're scared. <laughs> what do you see in there? Shark. While our friends finish up a lightning lane, we're gonna hang out in the sea. It's so nice and cool in here, and honestly, is it stuck? This is probably our most frequently visited place in Epcot these days. Obviously it's nice and cool. The boys love the fish. They love sharks. And the ride is always a short wait. Also, they are always handing these out. And they have, like, there's different prompts, but there's these stickers in there that the boys, again, just love. So it's like a souvenir every time. Teddy's watching the dolphins. They were doing some jumps. There we go. Jump. Nice. Alright, Teddy woke up as we were leaving, so I took him back in so we could see the fishies. And Sarah and James want to go have a snack and rest their feet. I'll wait for Jared, Britt, and Shepard to make their way from the other side of Future World over to the land. Um, like we said earlier, we can't stay very long, so we're just gonna kind of see them. They leave in a couple days, and I don't know if we'll get a chance to see them again. So we will be hanging out for a little as much as long as we can, and then giving our goodbyes and safe travels, and head on over to Christina and Grant's for Sunday dinner. A little babach is what I hear is on the menu. It's a good time. It's very nice. Boys are excited to be together again. <laughs> For Sunday dinner. This is for the boys. We always gotta have a straw for Club Cool at the ready. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Daddy. Oh! This is probably not condoned, but this is the first time I've ever done this and probably the last time. But I filled up this mug with Beverly. Bye bye, Epcot. We actually, we realized. We haven't gone to World Showcase in a bit. We've been very future worldly. And so we will be coming back this week for a night at the World Showcase. Okay, an hour. I'm gonna get no, I just turn around. <laughs> Let's go back. Convince the Sakars to have Sunday dinner at World Showcase, which we have done Sunday dinner at other places.
Ready? We're vlogging. Oh. Did you see? <laughs> um, we are at the Sakaras and the kids are just playing and I'm just gonna relax. I'm just gonna kick my feet up. Go, go, go train. <gasps> oh. Train. What does the train say? Choo choo. Pappy and Teddy are playing train. We had a family classic babach for dinner tonight, which is sausage, peppers, potatoes, and onions. I don't know why our family calls it that. I think I've mentioned that before. I've showed that recipe a gazillion times. Peter had requested it, but neither Christina or I can get the potatoes crispy. Like. We try to cook it low and slow. Today we baked the potatoes just to see if we could get like, just the way my mom made it. We cannot get it to be the same crispiness. And so if you have any tips, if you've ever made something of this sort, I thought, I thought you should cook it low and slow because you start with the potatoes because they have to get nice and soft. I don't know. I think that it's just my mom like, playing a prank on us because neither of us whenever we try to cook it can't get it right the flavors are the same it's still tasty but like that extra little bit of crispiness even the sausage she would just make it perfect so that's my that's my spiel on babat grant and i are holding down the fort while christina and peter run and we are having ice cream oh, for dessert so what did you put in your ice cream a lot of chocolate. Okay. And uh, not as much vanilla. Did you put any of that in there? No. No? I tried. You haven't tried it yet? No, I'll try it. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to be. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I like it. <laughs> it tastes Probably be better with just the vanilla. We're home. I can't wait until my kids have jokes with me, like against you, like <laughs> like that. Like, well, it was just like you know what? She prefers hamburgers to cheeseburgers, and Phil was like, "She's a weirdo." Like, we love Phil Rosen though. We just met him and Lily. You didn't just meet. You come in. You're on Matt Walsh, and so you can't meet somebody more than once. Sure. Well, yeah. yeah. We got to see them for their little book tour in Winter Park. But here's our, our nice couch. Here's a nice, real life, cozy <laughs> pillow blanket mess. But all of us can fit the perfect size for this little space. And comfy enough for all of us. We're tired. We are tired. It was a great weekend. It was a great weekend. It was fast. It was fast. We did a lot. So great seeing friends and family and just I'm not ready for work to fill their cup right up, but yeah. <sighs> I like fuck I had something to say. Oh wow, when is your first memory? Um my mom was pregnant with Christina and I was when she was born I was like two and a half. So let's, let's I remember sitting at my kitchen table and my mom being pregnant in a striped shirt. Let's add like 10 months to that because you're kind of weird. You know, like you have a really good memory. Okay. What I was thinking about just now was like James is like at the age or in very close to the age where like he may remember stuff. Yeah. That's cool because everything before that, not, I mean like obviously they like residually remember like. And it's like, like building build, who you are building as who a they person. Are, but like when he's. 32 years old like i am like, will he remember like playing with blocks over there or how we had the coffee tea bar set up like yeah that's His cool home and right his, yeah that's cool and also scary at the same time as, as a parent like it's just responsibility you know yeah but a good kind yeah absolutely it's good to be home it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>